welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video it's one of my most popular ones it's definitely one of my most overdue videos and it is of course a big primark haul so i'm actually in manchester today i have a couple of meetings later on this afternoon so i thought what better time to bring you guys along with me and show you what's new in primark because it's been a while i'm not gonna lie it's first time this year that I've been into Primark so I am in the well I'm going to the Manchester one which in my opinion is probably one of the best they've got the friends cafe they've got a big new beauty studio area um second to that I do like the Bristol one when I used to live in Bristol I used to think that was a really good one and then I have been to the world's biggest one in Birmingham which is insane however Manchester has a place in my heart so the Manchester Primark is the one that we're going to today is one of my favorites I actually for the first time if there's no queue because there's usually a queue for the Friends Cafe I might even pop in because it's now 11 o'clock and I only had a small piece of toast this morning so I'm kind of feeling a coffee and piece of cake so if I can get into Friends Cafe I might even pop in there but I just want to browse you know new year new me back from holiday all my South Africa content is now obviously complete so I'm back into the swing things back in the UK I need a bit of inspiration with my wardrobe so I'm starting with Primark. If you like these kind of come shopping with me videos, do let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below that you want more. Subscribe for more and let's head on in to see what's new in in Primark 2020. <laughs> Here we are. So just to put into the scale of how big this Primark is, it is all of this building. So we have a lot of shopping to do. So we have a lot of new active wear. She really love this jumper for like just casual every day, £12. And it's pretty oversized because that's obviously an extra small. Super, super soft. But yeah, Alice, is it living, living? Has done another range and I've spotted this set already before. So I am tempted. It feels a little bit thin. I actually love this set as well, this like grey and pink, coral pink kind of colour. Um, my favourite is this all black one, £10 for these bottoms, but they only have them in a large, so I might try my local one, see if they have them in my size. And it comes with a top, which is like a really nice length. It's obviously longer than a sports bra, uh, but not too, you know, not too cropped. So you've got your stomach on show, but not too long, so you've got loads of excess material, so... How much is this one? Six pound. They also have these sets. This is a nice one, this camo one. Again, it's the same uh, new range. And then they have this long sleeve crop, which I don't actually own a long sleeve crop workout top. And then these t-shirts as well. That's a nice gray color, only four pounds. That's really good. They have all the basics in one section, which is what I really like, so that you can come to like one area and just stock up. If you find one item in particular you like, you could just get it in like every colour. So affordable, two pounds. I'm gonna go over there and check out the bodysuits. So they have this like ribbed one, but I actually love this one with the little cup detail. And they've got it in white and also in black. And they are five pounds. They also have these which make really good basics for like under a blazer. Um, I just really like that look of like a roll neck with a blazer and then maybe some faux leather leggings or jeans even and they are only £4. Okay so in my opinion the jeans to look out for from Primark are the straight ones and in particular vintage straight. Um, if you like skinny jeans as well they have loads of different ones to choose from but my personal favourite are the straight ones and they're £13. They're usually the ones hung up rather than folded. I don't need any more jeans today. Here we go, I told you they'd be hung up. Vintage straight leg, 13 pounds. Really, really nice fit, nice and high-waisted. They have them in loads of different, like, um, different blue colors, black, white, pretty much everyone that you need, so yeah. This is what you're looking out for, super nice fit. So this is where the little friends cafe is, it's so cute and it looks like there's no queue today so I might pop in after I have done a bit more shopping. If you like layering up rings like I do, the primer ones are good because you get a big bulk pack for three pounds. They have loads of different ones to choose from and then also these like huggy style earrings that I wear like on a daily basis. 
two pounds for a set of six is really really good value so um, they do tarnish a little bit with time but if you are the sort of person that gets bored of a certain style then you could easily like just buy them and then switch them up every season or whatever but I really like these ones actually I'm tempted to get them oh I like this this is different it's really nice um, fabric it's almost like a felt fabric 20 pounds I just think that looks like something from maybe Uniqlo like very simple you know no hardware other than just it all being monotone 20 pounds nice length as well actually for if you wanted to wear leggings with it how cozy does this look there's no price on that one 25 pounds it is super soft and it's like a corduroy with a teddy fleece um, along the collar oh my god that looks so cozy this is the beauty section I was telling you about and then through there they actually have the beauty studio where you can book in to have like your nails done hair done um, loads of different treatments but it is like shop floor you know everyone can see you getting your brows done and everything but I think it's a good idea they've also got men's barbers over there so if you need to try and convince the other half to come shopping with you then you could convince them to maybe go to the barbers and have a little pamper session watch you shop really tempted to try the Alex Stenheim uh, skincare I think it looks really nice kind of reminds me of like the ordinary or something like that maybe I should get a sheet mask and just try what else would I try maybe moisturizer for I know five pounds the cleanser is only four they have blemish stickers. I just think these, the branding is like really nice for this. I feel like if you're a fan of the Primark stick on nails, you will love this display. So this is for you guys who like the stick on nails because they have so many to choose from. I wouldn't even know where to begin. This is cute. They have some of their cozy knit jumpers reduced down to a fiver, which is next to nothing from 13 got this nice cream color this like kind of rusty kind of burnt orange color chocolate brown I don't think I need any but you know five pounds can I resist <gasps> oh I don't know no I'm gonna resist for now love this I wish they had max matching uh, joggers to this they've got it in beige and gray and it's like a thin knit um, hoodie but I think that'd be really nice if they had a matching jogger I'm gonna go on the hunt for some. I doubt they will because they'd probably have had it here, but you never know. I love this dress. It's like a really nice thin knit in this gorgeous beige kind of stone color. They've got it next to these big chunky boots and I think that would look like a really nice outfit. Maybe throw on a leather jacket whilst it's still quite cold, but I love that. Let's see how much it is. It is. 15 pounds and then the boots are 18. Okay so I've just come across a whole other workout section they're obviously playing on the January new year new me and everyone working out and everything but they have so many more things than I'm sure they've ever done before. Yoga mat, yoga towels, water bottles, resistance bands, they're good. £3.50 jump ropes, water bottles, loads of obviously non Alice Living, living, however you pronounce the name, uh, workout gear. I actually love wearing these sports bras, the seamless ones, they're four pounds. I have a few in black and white. I tend to just wear them like every day, to be honest with you. And they also have loads of cycling shorts. These ones are very Adidas style and only five pounds I can't spot any in a small but how comfy do these joggers look eight pounds like a grey mile nice thick and chunky um, ankle let's have a look see if they have oh there Alice living again medium they remind me of the top shot ones oh no these ones are different they've got a different cuff at the bottom I prefer these ones and they're only eight pounds but I don't think they have a small so they've got a range here of these leather trousers, skirt, jacket, and then this jumpsuit as well. And the jumpsuit is 30 pounds, so kind of pricey, but they all have these um, all vegan materials signs on. So obviously 
being more conscious of that. This is a really cute dress, but I never really buy things like this. I think it'd be quite nice with a cozy jumper over the top as well, actually. It's quite thin, 13 pounds. So you definitely need to layer up with maybe tights, I think, in this weather. Tights, boots, leather jacket, or a cozy knit jumper. It is cute, but I just don't know if it's, I don't, I don't know. I'm not 100% on it. I think it's pretty, but maybe not for me. They have so many sale items in. How much are these? <gasps> Five pounds for a pair of heeled kind of faux croc boots. Good for this time of year as well, actually. They were 18, down to 10, then now down to 5. Um, they don't have my size. That's always tends to be an issue. But they do have these in my size, and I do quite like them. Maybe a bit too high for me, but they are from 16 down to 5. I've noticed they don't have many new in styles, but they have a lot of sale items. Clothes, you know, shoes, everything. A lot of sale. Not too many new in things, which is a little bit disappointing. So I might have to come back maybe in a few weeks, a couple of weeks, maybe next week. Right, okay, so I've popped into the changing room now. A little outfit of the day of what we're wearing today. This um, cozy black, I think it was from, I saw it first, if you can find it, I'll leave it linked. My new bag, which I got at the airport, which you might have seen in my come to the airport with me is it come to the, yeah come to the airport with me vlog this like high neck ribbed grey top was I think it's old Zara and then these jeans are from Lovies and Adidas trainers so I picked up this bodysuit I want to try it on I did get it in an extra small because I want it to be quite tight fitting oops and then I also saw these, which I found in khaki and white. Just a nice or basic to go under a, like, a loose, kind of chunky jumper type thing as somewhat of, like, a bra slash crop top. So I got this one in a small khaki, and it's £3, so bargain. And then, yeah, same again, a small in the white. So I'm going to try them on. This one I'm not sure about, it was in the cell 13 down to 5, so I got it in a medium to be a little bit more oversized, I'm thinking sort of House of CB, chunky, it's like chenille kind of fabric, so nice and soft, chunky, long cardigan, to be honest with you, just for like around the house more than anything, but just, you know, to have something different to dressing gown, and then, okay. And then this in a medium to be like an oversized t-shirt with maybe cycling shorts or leggings. I quite liked the, it says renewal, but it's embossed. I don't know, simple. I quite liked that. I thought it looked quite designer. And it was only £6. So I also like the length of the sleeves on these kind of oversized t-shirts. So I'm going to get trying on and I'll let you know which ones I end up going for. This is the six pound basic tee with the renewal on it. And I actually quite like it with jeans, kind of tucked in, but it is quite long. So in a medium, long enough to probably wear with cycling shorts as it gets warmer. I quite like it. I like how simple it is, but I mean, that doesn't look like Primark to me. Now that I've seen it though, if I see anyone in it, I will be like Primark. But yeah, I, I, think, um, I think I'm gonna get this. Okay, this. Cardi I can't remember if I told you or not, but it was £13, but reduced down to five, so a bargain. And it is nice and soft, it's not itchy at all, it's super... You know that chenille fabric is very soft anyway. It does have a hood, although I guess if you want to be extra cosy, then maybe, but yeah. I'm kind of gutted it doesn't come with a tie waist, because that would have been nice, but just as a throw on... Um, around the house I do really like this and I've been after a nice cozy cardigan I, I, an alternative to a dressing gown so yeah I think I'm gonna get this one for the bargain price of five pounds okay this bodysuit I'm not gonna pick up just because I have some really nice bodysuits from Opoly and in comparison this one is quite thin a bit ill fitting like the straps just don't fit it's very scoop neck very low neck which 
yeah, it's just not the best fit considering this is a small, extra small as well. But I do really like these and they make great basics. So I'm gonna take both of those. Love these. These are just like the dupes for the Valentino trainers, 12 pounds. I actually really like that beige color. Um, but I don't feel like I need any more sneaker style shoes at the minute. Uh, I do really like this. I actually prefer it to the fedora that I've got in this color from Misguided. I like how even the band is. Mine's a bit kind of misshapen a little bit. And I also like the little buckle on the side. Eight pounds. Kind of autumnal though, so I don't know if I'm over it for this year. Maybe come back and see if they have them again next year. But yeah, that's what, oh, it's 100% wool as well. That's good for eight pounds. Okay, now time to have a look at the homeware section, which they definitely seem to have expanded in this one. I keep seeing this chunky knit throw and deliberating every time I come in to Primark. They have it in grey, really nice if you have a grey theme in your house. This pink, which is quite like a strong baby pink. And then this is the colour that I like, the cream. But my worry is that it's going to bobble a little bit like this has for £30. It's not like the cheapest from Primark, but it is obviously a fraction of the designer kind of prices for these chunky net throws. You'll see in Sunday's video, I'm doing a bit of a kitchen reorganised clear out. So I am on the hunt for some more kitchen bits. I'm going to go to TK Maxx after this. Um, so that'll all be in Sunday's video. This is cute. But yeah, they don't really have any kitchen wear items. More bedroom, living space, that kind of thing. And bathroom, I guess. These are six pounds, these mirrors. Oh, that's unusual to just have it one-sided. Usually there's like a zoom one on the other, isn't there? These little gold pots, plant pots, six pound. They're nice. They have the glass terrariums, eight pounds. I do think they look quite fake, the plants, so that's the only reason why I wouldn't get that. But I guess you could take it out and do, do your own version. I really like their brushed cotton fitted sheets. They're super, super soft. Very affordable for bedding. Obviously they have loads of different colours and styles. Um, but I obviously just tend to opt for plain cream. So the double size is £7.50. And the King, which is the one I get, is £8.50. Although I have to admit, for me, nothing has beaten my jersey bedding from B&M yet. They, oh my god, game changer. I wish they had a cream though. I've only got it in beige. And they have the grey ones currently in the clearance. I really want a cream or white. So if you know of anywhere that does them, let me know. All time fave Disney film, Lion King. What is your favorite Disney? These are quite pretty actually. And they're like a satiny kind of fabric. Disney PJs, no specific film, just plain old Disney. And then they have the short versions as well in the cotton. This candle is cute. So it comes in like a little wicker um, container but it is removable, so you could use that as like a little pen pot afterwards, or put another candle in, £4.50. I love that they're getting on the whole cleaning hype, I'm guessing, as a result of Mrs. Hinch, let's be honest. Definitely gonna pick up these though, five pack of multi-fiber, multi-purpose cloths, and they even say on them what they're for. So I'm definitely picking these up at three pounds. They are going in my basket. Oh, these are interesting. So these you can use to um, just wet with water, squeeze and start raising on walls and things. And I think they, if they're the same as like the actual expensive ones, they are safe on paint and wallpaper. Um, two pack for £1.50, maybe worth a try. Okay, I love both of these. This is like a laundry bag that opens up five pound and then this one is really cute. I love that it's like a cotton, it says wash me on the front of it and it's got like a rope handle. I love these, they're five pound each. Decision is which one to pick up. This is cool, I've never seen these before but it's a woven mat, 14 pounds. It's got this kind of like aztec -y Moroccan style print on it. They have their bathroom marble sets on offer, but I, you know, if you don't need like a toothbrush holder, again, like a 
pencil, pen, pencil holder, stationery, and only three pounds. I think that is, yeah, nice. I love this plant pot. It's got like a nice kind of embossed pattern on it, and it is only four pound fifty. Good, decent size as well. Well, this is very urban, very urban outfitters. Ten pounds. It's only small, fairly small. Like a little rattan mirror. That's my hand for comparison if you're wondering what I'm doing. I said I don't need any new pyjamas. However, I've just come across this gorgeous ribbed set in this kind of blush nude. Eight pound for the top, eight pound for the bottoms, five pound for the shorts, five pound for the vest. So you could have like a mismatch set there for not a lot of money. I don't love that top though with the buttons, but I do love the shorts, joggers and top. And I think I'd wear these a lot. Oh, and then these are gorgeous as well. How nice are these? 10 pounds for the bottom. Oh my God, they feel incredible. They're like a cuffed leg jogger style PJ bottom with this gorgeous matching hoodie in this really nice cream color, 10 pounds for the top. It is already marked, so that's the only thing with cream. As much as I love wearing white and cream, you can literally wear it once and then it'll get marked and you have to then wash it, which is a bit, a bit annoying, but I do really like them. Hmm. And then for the Harry Potter fans, they always have a Harry Potter section in this Manchester one. It used to be downstairs. They seem to have moved upstairs now. Oh, I love this. It's like a really nice waffle kind of fabric, super soft as well. I'm still lingering around this loungewear section because they have even more that I didn't see. And these are definitely more loungewear, part of the Calm range. Loungewear as opposed to PJs, but I mean, obviously you could sleep in these if you want. But the bottoms in the gray are eight pounds and then there's a matching top with like a cuffed crop which is quite nice, something a little bit different. How much is this? No labels, there we go, eight pounds. I might try these, oh, here we go, they don't have my size, do they? Mediums, mm. maybe a medium, I'll try. But it's like a three pack of wireless bras in this nude white and black, very simple, kind of a bit Kim Kardashian skims range maybe, but they don't have a small. They have extra small, medium, large, brilliant. Oh, I've just spotted some slippers. Definitely don't need slippers. Okay, time to check out. Always suckered in at the checkout, but these cozy socks are the best, so I'm gonna throw them in as well. Okay, shopping is done. I'm gonna head to the cafe now, Central Park, and see what they have. I have pit stopped at Central Park, got myself a water in a can, looks like Diet Coke, which is weird for my brain when I drink it and it's not Diet Coke. And then I've got a mocha, mocha frap, frappe, and a toasty, cheese and onion toasty for my lunch. So I'm gonna pit stop here, refresh my batteries, head back to the car, dump the bags in the car, and then head over to Zara. There we have it, Primark 2020. A little bit disappointed. I feel like there wasn't many new in things. Like I was saying, there's a lot of sale. I'm gonna head to Zara now and film that video. Hoping for better luck in Zara, I'll be honest. There will be a few sale items left, I'm sure. And Sunday's video this week is gonna be an exciting one. I've been doing some shopping at TK Maxx for Le Creuset bits for my kitchen. So uh, that'll all be in Sunday's video, the big kitchen deep clean organized. I can't wait to get cracking on that. I'm gonna be filming that tomorrow and over this week. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye guys.